Hello, YouTube. Time out here, back in unforeseen incidents. Some point and click fun here. Uh, decided to do this game today because been a little tired right now, and I wanted something a little, a little quiet, you know. Ah, the junkyard. Yeah, something. I wonder if Leroy's home. That doesn't get me all worked up, you know. I always keep a keen eye on the scrap electronics. I found some sweet radio stuff in there in the past. The TV VCR combo, the pinnacle of home entertainment systems. This thing's actually in pretty good condition. I wonder if it works. I'm sure Leroy won't mind if I borrow it. Typical point and click hero fashion, just stuff everything in your pockets. <laughs> Regardless of size and shape. Looks like business is rusting. <laughs> Won't be long until the crane becomes part of the junk pile itself, the circle of life. There's an old car engine hanging from the crane. Hmm. Might need that. It's not as busy as it was back Super when I watched annuated. Leroy. Oh, I used to work here. It amazes here. me how much stuff regular Why folk just throw away. That's plain obsolescence stop. for you. I always like rummaging in the junk, seeing if I could turn up something useful. Have you now? Uh... Oh my Jesus, a paint atomizer. Oh man, these things are so cool. I always wanted one of these for my model planes, but Calvin said they made too much mess. I wonder if this baby still works. I'm sure Leroy wouldn't deny me a chance to fulfill a childhood dream. At least he tries to do some rationalizing, which is more than a lot of point and click heroes do. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hopper. How you doing? How's the junkyard business? Ah, oh, things have changed since you used to work for me, Hop. Yes, sir. Things have changed. Leroy, you're currently watching a football game instead of working. Things haven't changed that much. <laughs> you hear about this, uh, Yelltown fever business? Yeah. Ain't nothing Yelltown can't handle. I don't know. Uh, I think it's pretty serious. In my time, I've seen floods, snowstorms, rains of frogs, earthquakes, volcanoes. There's no volcano in Yelltown, Leroy. Yelltown folk can handle one little plague. That's what I'm saying. Why are Yelltown folk still in Yelltown? Is it is it because nowhere else will have them? Are you watching the game? Of course! I'd never miss the big finale! Wanna join me? No thanks, I got too much on my mind today. Not me! <laughs> That's very How's clear. How's the game going? Looking pretty good. The seagulls are dominating, but the raccoons have a good team this year. Could go either way. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop! Yeah, listening to you is making my throat go scratchy, so... I'm gonna go. I see something there. Ah, uh, something interesting. Ah, uh, for me, I have tea. Okay, we got some TV now. <laughs> Who throws away a TV? Especially one with a built in VCR. That doesn't need to be cabled. Did he say so? Test work. Uh, da, 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 da. 
I'll click okay. Uh... I should set it down somewhere before plugging it in. I don't think I can do that. No, I don't think that works. How do I can accept this? I saw something here. No? Okay. Look what I found. Hey! Thanks, Hopper! Can you get the game on it? I hope so. Just give me a minute. Oh boy, oh boy. I need to connect it to an outlet. Oh, the power cable has been cut. Damn you, ruthless metal thieves. That's okay, I have a cable. Okay, let's see. Oh, hold up. I need to insulate the exposed wires before I connect the cable to the outlet. I don't want to be responsible for electrocuting Morton. You sure? Not again. You sure? This should do the trick. Dang, it's not working. Aw, oh, man! It won't turn on. Guess that's why it got junked. Maybe I should take a look inside. Let me do the thing. There we go. Let's have a look. Aha! Uh -huh. The connection is broken by a cold solder joint. Can you fix it back at your place? What do you think, Mort? Okay, back to my place. <laughs> I better get to see that guest book after this. Is it upstairs? Ah, here we go. Okay, let's repair this bad boy. That should do it. That it? My trusty 40 watt chisel tip Langham soldering iron. You need That's a good soldering iron for. if you want to tinker with electronics. Okay. I guess, I guess it's back to the hotel now. Way to go for a to fix the TV. I, I can carry a list though. I can't. I'm sure, I can't carry a soldering iron. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, while I'm here, I'll Whew, take a look. Holy moly, this. the engine's been stripped. That's the radiator. Looks like a copper brass alloy. Okay, I suppose that's 
matters somehow. Oh, there are two spark plugs missing. This car is in ridiculous condition. Narts, the radiator hose has a huge leak. Hmm, that ain't right. Dang. At least the oil level is fine. I think the engine needs some more coolant. Dang, the car battery is missing. Okay, dude, really made a mess of this. It looks like the fan belt is missing. Anything else? With my, to go with my woeful knowledge of car repair. I can't replace the fan belt with an aquarium hose. Have you tried? Really, I've just tried. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Okay, Mrs. Denman's underwear is worth more than she knows. I fixed it? He, yeah, let's go with that. Paint, some glue. Can I glue this? Hmm, that doesn't make sense to me. Apparently not. I used up all my tape. I wouldn't know how to use the hose here. Okay. What is that? Cool. I'm not here to clean. Anything here? Oop. What's that? Oh, a jar. Oh, wonderful. Let's just go over to the hotel and leave his car sitting there open. Okay, and I done that. Can I put it here? Okay, Mort, here you go. Did you fix it? Can you put the game on? Sure, buddy. Oh, thank you, Hopper. Here's the game. Hey, what channel is this thing on? I'm pretty sure they ain't the right teams. Oops. Hi. Hey. Howdy. Let's talk about- Not again. I'm sure the Seagulls versus Raccoons game was fun to watch. Oh boy! You got lucky that time, Merle. 86 was a long time ago. 86. We got a score to settle. Bring it on. Anyway. I gotta go. See you later. Goodbye. Yeah, there's only 186 here. Hmm. Let's see if this one could come in useful. I'll put the other one back. Good man. Keep me from getting confused. <coughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, thanks, buddy. You're welcome.
amazing. There actually are some guests in this hotel. Uh, no Hallowell, though. I need to give this to some Hallowell from the Times. I guess. Then Wells. Maybe it. Five, two, three, six, eight. Hello, Dr. Wells. This is the front desk. Yes. Are you expecting a message? Yes! My meeting with the Biofiltration Committee was cancelled! The Yelltown Municipal Sewage Facility is all in a flap because a few farmers have got the sniffles! Meanwhile, I'm stuck in this dive waiting for them to reschedule. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this message isn't from a Biofiltration Committee guy. Blast! Well, when they call, put them straight through. I don't think that was her. Eleven. Hello, is that uh, Mr. Hubbard? Why, yes. Vern Hubbard here. Are you waiting for some kind of message? Oh, always. My wife often sends me messages. Sometimes I'll find an old fishing fly in a wrong drawer and I'll think, that's Martha. Sorry, I think we're talking at cross purposes. Why, there's nothing more dangerous than cross purposes. Uh, thanks, old timer. No. I don't think that's him. Ten. Hello, sir. This is front desk. Mr. Carrington speaking. Are you expecting a message? What kind of message? Um, I have a message, but I'm not sure if it's for you. Saints alive, son. Is this a joke? Unless you have a message for Huxley Carrington with two R's, leave me in peace. Hey, this is the front desk. Pastor Isaac McCaffrey here. Are you waiting for a message? 
Most definitely. My mind is always open to heavenly inspiration. No, I mean a real message. Like, uh, something in an envelope. Ah, I gladly accept donations to the Pastor Isaac McCaffrey Ministry. Um, I don't think there's any cash in this envelope. Could there be a check? I doubt it. Not that. Okay. I gotta read the whole thing. Anything else back here? Margaret went down room 30. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Winham. This is the front desk. Okay, yes. Hello. Are you waiting for some kind of message? I always read the newspaper for inspiration. I am a writer, you see. I write. Do you read the Port Nicola Times? No, I take the Arbutus Hill voice. The classifieds in the voice are much spicier. Classified ads. A coded message between lovers. That's interesting. Okay. Running out of people here. Twenty. Hello, uh, Ursula James. This is the front desk. Yes. Are you waiting for a message of some kind? Well, I was expecting to meet a member of the bird watching society. Um, I, I don't think this message is about bird watching. Then I guess you have the wrong room. Sorry. Forty-three. Hello, Miss Clark. Yes. What now? Are you expecting a package of some kind? Maybe. What kind of package? Well, it's sort of a secret. Like a secret you might... smell? Uh, no. Damn it. Hogan, tell your friend to... Okay, it's all of these people. Oh, I don't know what to do here. I don't see a way to use the atomizer here. When I said I'd clean- Also, I never said I'd clean up this day. This is the envelope that infected woman gave me. I need to give this to some Hallowell from the Times. Hello, Miss. What's the new? I'm looking for someone called Hallowell. Hallowell, could that be the name? Hallowell, good name, strong. Hallowell Steed, Hallowell Steel, no. I don't understand. Do you know Hallowell? Hallowell might just be the protagonist in my upcoming novel, A Nightingale Undone. Saxon. Not helpful. Hallowell Saxon, that's it. I must go. I um, think of all my time I'm boning people.
Hmm, no answer. Hey, this is the... Speak to me, sir. I'm looking for someone. Mm-hmm. I've been there, looking for someone to take the pain away. No, I... Looking for a woman, looking for a bottle, looking for light in all the darkest places. Did you know there's a good book for folks in your situation? Pastor Isaac McCaffrey's Guide to Self-Improvement. Only $14.99 plus tax. Swing by my room if you want a signed copy. I knew it was going to be something like that. Uh, oh. I don't know if that hashtag's actually Hello, sir. Just this is front... You again. I'm looking for a... Then you're calling the wrong room. Good. Pretty sure I can cross him off the list. Maybe if I had a pencil. So I don't think I should just leave this. I can't. I'm obsessed now. Hello, uh, Ursula James. What do you want? I'm looking for someone named Hellowell. Unless they're part of the... What was the name again? Hellowell. No, doesn't ring a bell. Sorry. Seven, 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 seven. Port Nicola Times News Desk. I'm afraid the night editor is just leaving. Hey, uh, sorry to bother you. I have an inquiry about a journalist called Hellowell. Hellowell? Oh, Hellowell. Yes, she's done some freelancing for us recently. She has? She. Anything I might have read. She's contributed to our coverage of the outbreak in Yelltown. May I ask what this is regarding? Can you give me her number? We don't give out personal contacts for our reporters. You can leave a message. No, I need to talk to her. I think it's pretty urgent. I'm sorry, sir. I just can't give out personal information. Yeah, I, I get it, but... Thank you for calling. Creep. Hey. That's not nice. Four three three one one. Oh. You've reached the L Town Times answer phone. If you're interested in placing an ad, please. Okay, so it's a she. There's a download. Hello, Miss Clark? Yes? What now? I read an interesting article in the paper today. 
Read an article, did you, hun? Okay, you got me. Hope you're happy. Octavia Clark isn't your real name, is it? Great work, Kreskin. Who do you work for, Inquirer? Or are you one of Daddy's goons? Can a real estate heiress check into a hotel without you jackal swooping like a flock of wolves? Um, sorry. Wrong number. Okay, not Clark. Nope. Hello, uh, Ursula. What do you want? I read an interesting article in the paper today. The Port Nicola Times printed a piece about this Yelltown fever business. They... did they? I don't know anything about the outbreak. I'm just here for bird watching. You should read it. It's kind of boring, actually. Apparently, the situation is all under control. What? Who wrote it? It was written by someone called Hallowell. Then why don't you go and talk to Hallowell? I'm just a bird watcher. Apparently, a rare golden eagle has been sighted in this area. You seen the Yelltown Eagle yet? The Yelltown Eagle? Everyone around here knows the Yelltown Eagle. I'm sure someone in the bird watching society would have mentioned it. Oh, the Yelltown Eagle. Yes, of course. A magnificent creature. The Yelltown Eagle was a dive bar. Shut down a year ago. Oh, crap. Miss Halliwell, I have a message for you. I think it's important. Would you mind if we met in person? My ear kind of aches from the phone. Jesus Christ. Okay, go down into the hotel bar and wait for me there. H how do I know you won't leave the hotel? You don't. Okay. Found her though. That took a while. And I don't have much time left for this episode. Hello? Hello, well? My name's Harper Pendrel. You got a message for me? Actually, I have this envelope. I, I didn't open it or anything. How did you get this? It was pretty bad. I ran into this lady in the street and she... Well, I'm pretty sure she had Yelltown fever. She was too sick to walk. God damn it, Patty. Tell me the whole story. A neighbor lady called in RHC. Before they took her away, she told me to bring you that envelope. How come RHC didn't take you away too? I, um... I, I ran off. You ran off? Seriously? What if you caught the infection? Relax. I got tested. I'm fine. It's years since I got sick. My immune system is like a ninja or something. Now, can you drop the secret agent crap and talk to me? I don't trust you, Pendril. Hmm. How can I get her to trust me? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to have to leave it there because I am running short on time. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't get as much done as I would like. I thought I was a real hot shot. I must have lost hundreds of bucks on that thing. Yeah, you know. Play pool for money unless you can hustle properly, you know. Uh, yeah, didn't get as far as I hoped, but we found Helly well. And re replace, fix the fan belts, sort of. It'll work, I guess. Still gotta fix the rest of the car. Arms tingly. Not heart attack tingly, more like. He's like something's walking on it. Hmm. 
any road it's gonna be saying adios, abidizen, aloha, all that good stuff don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, it's not hard and until next time uh, I guess try calling the editorial offices first before you spend all that time checking the phones numbers of the rooms yeah you gotta have a clue first don't you and apparently pantyhose make good fan films see ya